Uh, my name is Octavianus Mote. I'm here. I'm web from West Papua. I'm uh, representing West Papuan's people in this uh, diaspora meetings. I came here in this country uh, in 1999. I was a professor and journalist in West Papua, and I got uh, blacklisted from the Indonesian government. Since then, I'm fighting for West Papuan's right for self-determination, for free from Indonesian colonial. And uh, today we are here, we are uh, witnessing a uh, diaspora meeting, as they call. Uh, and there are about uh, more than 10,000 West Papuan people right now living in a diaspora. Uh, 10,000 people in Papua New Guinea, they live in camp because these Indonesian they occupy our land. They took our land from the, our uh, countries. These big uh, companies coming from Korea, they take a uh, forest. These big company from America, they took uh, Freeport McMoran, they, they built uh, gold and copper in, in the south. This big company, uh, British Petroleum, built the oil and gas in Bintuni Bay. And all this collaboration, uh, the Australian uh, uh, collaborate with the uh, Rio Tinto, uh, with the Freeport McMoran. They built uh, their company in West Papua. They all collaborated with the Indonesian military and Indonesian government, killing West Papuans. Right now, at least 10% of the population uh, get already killed. And West Papuan people about to extinct from uh, their land. And this, this, uh, this process, the, the genocide by process, is taking uh, uh, place in West Papua. And this big company, Freeport McMoran, United States of America, Australia, uh, British, uh, especially the, the Dutch, they ignore this the genocide by process, uh, the, the creeping genocide that's taking place in, in, in West Papua. And therefore, I'm here to explain what's going on. And I would like to explain uh, that just last week, just last week in Wamena, Indonesian uh, Wamena is the capital city of, of the highlands, uh, uh, in the highlands, where Indonesian uh, military fight, uh, burn down a village, the capital city of the uh, uh, that uh, county, and then um, the Indonesian president said. What happened in West Papua is nothing compared to others. This is Indonesian president who watched in the television where his military troops fire village, Wamena village, and he said this is nothing. So you can imagine how in the world a Indonesian president, you know, it doesn't say uh, that he's he's a uh, killing. West Papuans. And uh, in April, at the Geneva, in the United Nations um, Human Rights Council, uh, there are 13 countries uh, uh, from the 43 nations as a member of Human Rights Council. Uh, in their formation to, uh, to Indonesian human rights, they speak out about what's going on in West Papua, what's going on in Maluk, what's going on in Indonesia entire. And the, the, the main point in that uh, was uh, the, uh, from the, how the government is close uh, the territory, how they operate uh, with impunity, uh, they kill people in, in West Papua and in other minority places. And Indonesian government really, uh, for the first time, they cannot understand how Japanese, uh, for the first time, speak out about the human rights situation in Indonesia, particularly in West Papua. And, and the, the, the issue that Japanese government was raised is about impunity. How this Indonesian government uh, let these killers, criminals, who assassinate uh, more than 10,000 people from East Timor, operate freely. How the government is to protect all these generals who committed, indicted in international human rights, a criminal, as a government officer today, deputy of a defense minister, is indicted 
as a criminal, but uh, this president is hire him and put him as a deputy defense minister. He put uh, the um, the current the army um, the commander, uh, his uh, his brother-in-law. He was the special commander uh, as uh, a, a commander of special forces in 1999 when Indonesian military with uh, uh, with uh, their uh, criminal gangster killed half of East Timorese population. And and this uh, same that the president is uh, put all these uh, Wallabi uh, uh, Muslims and radical from uh, base uh, support with um, uh, money from Saudi Arabia control Indonesian government today. They built uh, uh, parliaments, uh, pa political parties. They, they also infiltrated already in the government. They control, kill Christians, uh, burn down um, the churches, and then uh, assassinate the people. And uh, this government used them. And, and I'm here to, to t testify to the world that Indonesian government from from 1961 all the way up to today, they criminalize West Papuans who are uh, exercise their freedom of expression, their political rights to, to, to talk uh, without any weapons as a criminal. Philip Karma, the guy who just raised a uh, flag uh, peacefully, just because of that act. They punish him for 15 years jail. He's, he's in jail now. 15 years. Uh, but in the same time, Indonesian government is using criminal that um, the network that um, bought uh, Twin Towers in New York. This criminal same network are using by Indonesian government. This, this world is a political leader, US, Australia, uh, you know, uh, that this, they said to the, uh, their, uh, uh, people, they be at war against terrorists. But, in the same time, in front of their eyes, they are helping Indonesian president who protect the radicals, who protects these, uh, these terrorists. Uh, he maintain, he maintain, he play double standard policy. Uh, you know, and, and this is the government that we are facing, the Malukuans facing, West Papuans facing. And I'm, I'm here to give a testimony uh, about that. Uh, and I'm very pleased, Lord bless me, that uh, I have affiliation with the prestigious university. I'm a visiting fellow at the Yale University. I, I, I get a, um, a senior human rights fellow this semester and next semester. Uh, I was a well trained professional journalist kicked out by Indonesian government only because, only because I was reporting the tragedy, human rights violations, the genocide by process that Indonesian doing it uh, up till today. Now, when we are talking here, in the village in the border, in the, uh, the Kerom regencies, today they're doing it a uh, military operation. They are war with uh, Papuans who doesn't have a weapons only because they raised a the flag in July 1st. July 1st was celebrating in the West Papuans Independence Day. And today, last night, I talked with uh, the military, uh, the West Papuans group that are uh, fighting uh, there. They are already attacked by the military. Uh, they kill innocent uh, people in the border. It's just about uh, uh, 30 minutes from capital city of Jayapura. And uh, and then uh, from la uh, two months, the Indonesian special forces uh, are are killing innocent people in the middle of the town uh, using um, very high tech uh, weapons, and uh, they kill randomly. But uh, police commander, who was uh, his, who was a uh, advisory of the Forum uh, Pembela Islam. FPI, FPI. He's an advisor of that forum. And these, these FPI are the criminals. Everybody knows about them. This is advisor, but in recent president appointed him as a police commander. So, no wonder, once again, no wonder, if he, he was not able to uh, catch the uh, uh, perpetrators, the killers, because he is a part of them. 
And this Indonesian uh, president is is using this kind of example to kill it, the people. And then, and then the last uh, statement I want to make it. Right now, Indonesian military try to get the power back uh, to control Indonesia. And because of his personal interest, Mr. S.P. Yudhoyono is a personal interest. He allowed the militaries killing innocent people in West Papua right now when we are talking. And he said, again, he said, what happened in West Papua is nothing to compare than other places. And this is the, 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 the criminal government that we are facing today. And this is what we are, the, what they do here. Yesterday I was inside. Uh, I give you one example. They said, uh, this is about the, um, uh, multiracial democracy, good governance, they team. What they did is these four speaker came to tell us about what we're supposed to do. I mean, this is crazy. They, they have to talk this to Indonesian people in Indonesia. What, a, what the heck they try to bullshit to international uh, that Indonesia is a peaceful place, Indonesia is the best uh, high economic growth country. In the time where in the, in the village, people, uh, you know, uh, take a long line to buy gasoline. They cannot uh, eat. They speak about uh, how uh, important Indonesia is in the world. In the time when uh, international um, um, United Nations uh, Human Rights Commission judged them how failed that country on human rights. And 13 countries, 30 countries speak up about what's going on in West Papua as an example. Uh, uh, they speak out about the how Indonesian government failed to protect its citizens. That is why uh, last uh, month, uh, the American uh, Peace Institute produced a report, uh, put Indonesia as a failed state. Why? Because they cannot really uh, uh, give the basic uh, right of the Indonesian citizen. Not to mention about West Papua or Malukus who are fighting for independence. This is about Indonesian citizens. They cannot protect their own, own people. How in the world they hear talking to the world that Indonesia is so important? This is just bullshit. This is just bullshit. But it's too bad that they talk this uh, like uh, they are coming from a wildlife uh, or stone age. There's uh, no communication. Today, this minute, I can follow what's going on in West Papua by internet, Skype, and everything. So, yesterday, uh, in the same speaker, he asked me, how do you know? It is amazing how this kind of regime, ignorance of the realities, and they just do whatever they think they can uh, do, you know. They try to lie to you. You cannot lie, people. This is a technology. You know, every time you can hear it, you can listen it, what, what's going on there. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, you know, in the middle of the street, these people know about West Papua. Why? Because they know. This is ordinary people. They pass by. You can see the lady said, hi, West Papua. Because you cannot lie. You cannot lie to the world. You cannot lie that you are doing and committed crime against humanity. You are doing, um, killing a nation, as a nation called West Papua. And this collaboration must be stopped, must be stopped. And we cannot uh, let this uh, ongoing uh, process of uh, genocide a nation is supposed to be. Uh, U.S. government have to stood up because they ate from our land. They get gold. Uh, United States of uh, the, the British. They have to stir up about West Papua. They get our oil. The Korean government is supposed to be stir up because they get our forest. Uh, Australian, they supposed to stir up because they get our gold. We are people. But what they do, they speak about human rights. They speak about the Christianity on the, on one hand, in the same in the same people dealing with the uh, uh, dictator regime that killings people in front of their eyes. This is not justice. 
and 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 Christian people in West Papua, they need accept two things. One is about the Christianity uh, from these Western countries. But what they teach in a reality, they are working with the military. So what what you're talking about the Christianity is that just knowledge, or this is about the faith? Is just a way of life, or or this is just political occupation? Uh, I give you another story. You know, they talk about the democracy. We accepted the democracy. In West Papua, people talk about their right to speak. And then, because of they are talking about the democracy freely, without any pressure. Now, when they, I, I give example about Philip Karma. He raised a flag. When he get a jail, this country who teach about the democracy, freedom of expression, do nothing, do nothing. They just teach us, they gave you theory, but when we face it, we practice uh, those uh, teachings, they said, you know, uh, I'm sorry, but we cannot do anything. I'm sorry, but Papua is a part of uh, Indonesia. Now the question is, how Papua become part of Indonesia? The Papua become part of, part of Indonesia because of international conspiracy. The United uh, States of America, in order to win uh, the war with the communism, after they lose uh, Korea, they help uh, Indonesia uh, by placing uh, that, uh, Dutch to get out from West Papua and over West Papua to Indonesians. So we, we become West Papua, uh, 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 Indonesia, just because U.S. interests uh, war with um, uh, communism. Second, uh, we become victim because uh, United States of America would like to have a gold and uh, copper, and that's why uh, they, uh, as, as soon as they uh, uh, provoke uh, the New York Agreement in 1962, uh, um, uh, in, in order to how the Dutch supposed to transfer West Papua, Dutch collaborate with the uh, um, uh, United States uh, of America. They just want, would like to wash hand, so they hand it over to uh, uh, United Nations. And the United Nations, uh, regardless of the New York agreement, they violated that agreement, allowing the Indonesians to uh, manipulate New York agreement uh, uh, to take over West Papua uh, uh, with the same uh, act of uh, no choice uh, in 1968. So this international conspiracy that well, this nation West Papua is facing, it's been happening all the way on around West Papua in history. So uh, that's all my statement. So we came here from uh, this uh, South Morgan people and some of the uh, uh, sympathies and uh, sympathize of the uh, West Papuan people. We are together here to uh, protest in front of the uh, diaspora uh, Congress of Indonesia. Uh, yeah, I think like that's how we can continue to protest. Uh, and, uh, so because uh, I don't know exactly what they're going to do inside, but uh, I think we know exactly from the uh, South Molokas and West Papuan people that uh, Indonesia is a failed country, okay? So because everything inside is failed, so everything inside they unable to do, they were unable to do, like, uh, you know, five principles of Indonesian, is a basic of Indonesian is uh, to protect uh, the people of Indonesia from Western part, Western part, but they failed to do it. They are unable to, uh, to apply the one. <clears throat> and then Constitutional of Indonesia 1945, is uh, especially in Article 28 and 20, 29, 28 for the human rights, uh, 29 for the... Uh, a legion, but they are unable to do that. They are unable to apply that to the uh, minority groups of people and the uh, some tribes of Indonesia like uh, West Papua and uh, South Molokai. And <clears throat> that's why we came here with the, South, uh, with the uh, uh, West Papua people to protest them and uh, we are with them so they can, uh, they have to Turn back our uh, Arab state okay. back to uh, South Molokai yes, people, and then they have to, they have to make a review of the 
referendum of the uh, agreement and a New York agreement that it was taking place about uh, in uh, at the uh, my 1988. But uh, so hard to the then uh, president at that moment they conducted at the uh, 1969. That's uh, illegally. It's violation of the violation to uh, international uh, what international uh, law and. We were the same Papuan people and uh, South Mountain people, so because, uh, but in this case, we were independent, uh, 1950. And we just uh, went Indonesia to, uh, or consist Indonesia to uh, return our uh, sovereignty back and let us enjoy our state. And for the West Papuan, please make a renewal of the uh, referendum. I think that's uh, our uh, uh, first point to come here. And then the second one is. Uh, Please release all the prisoners of West Papuan and uh, West, Papua, uh, West Papua and Army's people of conscience immediately and unconditionally. I think uh, that's what we came here to uh, protest in front of them. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, and also today. Uh, we came here from uh, South Molus and West Papua people to protest the uh, Indonesian government. And this is the time for Indonesia so because, uh, in all aspects of uh, nation, life, na nation life, that Indonesia has failed as a state or as a country. So because they cannot, uh, uh, what they they cannot protect. Uh, some tribes of Indonesia, uh, in, uh, Western people of Indonesia, like uh, South Morgas and West Papua, and some of them, like Kalimantan, Poso, and also religion, okay, is Christianity. And today, <coughs> I'm gonna say that uh, this is the time for Indonesia to return the sovereignty of the armies back to the South Morgas people, that's the first one. And the second, uh, the second thing is the return to the sovereignty of the 15 state back to its people. And the third one is the return the position of a virtual Republic of Indonesia as it is owed, namely the territory of Yogyakarta and its surrounding area. And the fourth one is an established a new federation of Indonesia to whom it wants to be. And the fifth one is to renew the referendum to the people of West Papua according to the New York Agreement, August 15, 1962, and Roma Agreement, September 30, 1962, that has been twisted by the then President Suharto at August 4, 1969, when it must be really conducted at the latest at May, at May 1, 1988. And the last one is uh, release all RMS and West Papua prisoners of conscience unconditionally. Uh, whatever they're gonna do here, but uh, we know exactly what happened inside Indonesia, and uh, the, I think international people know too about uh, what happened, what's what's going on in Indonesia. Uh, the integral, integrity of one nation of one state is not depend upon the lobbies of international lobbies, but depend upon what you do for your people inside Latvia, secure, peace, welfare, future, and human rights protect, and religion protect, and so on, that you're going to be going until forever. Thank you very much.